afternoon. Today is Thursday, November 10th, 2016. I'm Mason Kinzer. Scientists can make paralyzed monkeys walk. We've got details. And I'm Tristan Perez. Turns out that sea birds like to eat plastic because it smells good. Your season news starts now. Sock? Need some cool socks? The girls basketball team are selling Wildcat socks. The last day to order is November 26th. Cost is just $15 plus tax. They are high quality and super cool. Talk to any girl basketball player to order. Auditions for this year's musical, High School Musical, will be November 29th and 30th by appointment only. This is open to everyone, including teachers. Can't sing or dance? Doesn't matter. There are lots of non-dancing and non-scene roles, but you will need to prepare for auditions. You will be preparing to sing a song, be required to sing a song, preferably from High School Musical or a similar Broadway musical of your choice. You must have a, a, a company music as well. You will learn choreography at the audition, so be sure to wear something you can move in. Bring your calendar with your schedule from now through April. Please see Ms. Calhoun to schedule your audition appointment in room C-101. Speaking of drama, Columbia Spotlight players present Black Comedy by Peter Schaefer. December 6th through the 10th, all shows at 7 p.m. with a matinee at 1 on December 10th. Watch as a struggling sculptor, Brinsley Miller, and his fiance Carol are having a party to impress Carol's father that feature unexpected visitors, mistaken identities, and surprises lurking in every dark corner. Only we, the audience, can see the action that ensues in the dark. Tickets are $6 general admission, $5 with an ASB. Seating is limited because the show is in the Black Box Theater. See Miss Tia Davis in the front office for advanced tickets. Veterans Day is tomorrow. If you have a family member who is or was enrolled in any military branch, the Columbia ASB invites you to join us on the 9th Annual Veterans Day Luncheon to be hosted in the library. Please sign up for Ms. with Ms. Morris in the main office and direct any questions to Mr. Dion in A101. Attention all boys interested in playing basketball. Tryouts will be held Friday after school and Saturday morning. We'll be right back after this. It's flu season once again, but this year you can avoid getting yourself another sick. It's easy if you remember a few simple things. The single most effective way to prevent the spread of flu is to wash your hands for 30 seconds. Maintaining a three foot distance from those who are sick makes it much more difficult for the flu to be spread. If you're running a fever of 100 degrees or more, you're spreading the flu. Stay home. Even if it's not the flu, you're contagious when you have a high fever. If you wash your hands for 30 seconds, stay three feet away from those who are sick, and stay home when you do get sick, you can help everyone stay well this flu season. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression, so make it a good one. Today's high is a high of 63 with a low of 37. Tomorrow's is a high of 64 with a low of 40. An important beam that, import, an impl implant that beams instructions out of the brain that has, has been used to restore movement in paralyzed primates for the first time, say scientists. Recess monkeys were paralyzed in one leg due to da a damaged spinal cord. The, swim, the team at the Swiss Medical Institute of Technology bypassed the inj injury by sending instructions straight from the brain to the nerves controlling the leg movements. Experts say the technology could be ready for human trials within a decade. Spinal cord injuries block the flow of electrical signals from the brain to the rest of the body, resulting in paralysis. It is a wound that rarely heals, but is one potential, but one potential solution to use technology to bypass injury. In the study, a chip was implanted into the part of the monkey's brain that controls movement. It deciphered the messages and sent instructions to the implant in the monkey's spine to electrically stimulate the appropriate nerves. Plastic pollution in the sea gives off a smell that attracts foraging birds. Scientists have found that the, the discovery could explain why seabirds such as the albatross swallow plastic causing injury or death. The smell similar to the odor of rotting seaweed is caused by the breakdown of plankton that sticks to floating bits of plastic. About 90% of seabirds have eaten plastic and may keep them some in their bellies, putting their health at risk. The rate of plastic pollution is increasing around the world with a quarter of a billion tons of plastic waste recorded in the oceans in 2014. Scientists think seabirds associate the smell of plastic with food and are tricked into swallowing plastic waste. That's it to you where the day is dense, which means massed or crowded together, close you, and complicated. You could use it this way. The crowd gathered to hear the speech was so dense that the spectators could barely move. Thanks for watching. Remember, live, live the, the wildcat wild way. way.